Daniel, my computer is so slow. Oh, okay, bro. I'll go fix that for you. Computer is a bit slow. Oh. Can you oh. help him? Yeah. Here, yeah, George, yeah, mate. It's, yeah, it's, 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 it, look, it's just slow. <laughs> I, I can see that it's a bit slow. Yeah. Actually, I think I've got... Where is it? Paper. Oh, here it is. <laughs> oh. What's that? This will get it ripping, mate. Bing! Oh! <laughs> oh. oh. That's, that's, is that, that better, better George? Oh, I've never been able to type this fast. <laughs> Thanks to the Haltech Elite. Thanks, Haltech. 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 Stop. Haltech. Haltech. How you doing? What are you doing later? Haltech. Yeah, so Cyrus. That's my hat. How, how? How, how, how much tech can I take? Good tech. Thank you. No. How? Hello. Welcome to the Street Race Solution Spotlight Series. This episode we're talking about Haltex. Haltex latest tech today. <laughs> Alright, one of our favourite items, starting at the top here with these boxes. These are the, uh, not that one, that one's an even fancier box, but these are the boxes. Haltex IC7 dashes. You yeah. Tell us a little about little little. Tell us. They're easy to install and configure. User adjustable. <laughs> this, when coupled with uh, one of the ECUs, is basically like a very good replacement OEM dash classic. I would so nearly say it you, would have to be new one up up there with one of the finer. One of the finer ones. So there are there are obviously like cheaper options that run off of OBD and stuff like that. Uh, this talks directly to the ECU via CAN. Dash can display anything that your ECU can see. So it is a completely customizable background of the dash or like the setup display of the dash is completely customizable. So you can have it showing whatever you want. You can have it showing your speed, you can have it not showing your speed, you can have it showing your oil Gears, pressure, everything. gear selection, all that sort of stuff. So it does um, it's not really limited to just anything, really. No. You can so it's, yeah. it's it is pretty much completely customizable. You can show you can whatever your top ten things that you want to see on your engine. You can put your top ten things on you there. You can put your top ten things on there. Top ten. If you want to see oil pressure 10 times, you can do that. I don't think you can do over. that. That's oi. probably a lie. No, but oi, imagine good that. Advice. You could maybe yeah. like... You could have the watch time on there so you're never late I don't think you to get your misses. Why? Miss. Anyway, so oh. ice seven dashes. We've just put one in Andy's car, Andy Scott's car behind you. Nuts, nut, 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 nut. Oh, Andy's dash is very pretty. He has a heap of colourful lights up the top that lights mm. up when the lights light up. Um, it's very easy to read. Boy, there's a quick little display of what an IC7 dash looks like. See all the pretty colours up the top is exactly <laughs> what I was talking about. Look at the pretty they are. Yeah, the shift lights. It's a rainbow. So along with that dash, we are putting in an Elite 2500, which is this one here. This is his exact ECU. His and one. This was his exact dash box, but that the dash is box. now in the car. You're very easy there. to install. Are they? Yeah, they have are. you ever installed one? No, where, I haven't. You have owned one. This is why you you're meant to. to do that. You watched me put one in George. yesterday. I'm a fabricator, right? You watched me put he one in yesterday. He expects me to be able to just get all of these. Look at all these words. No, I don't. All of these things no, and I do don't. stuff with them. All I can no, do is I make don't. them into a skipping rope, bro. Coupled the dash with a Mako Motorsport 3D printed surround. Uh, it takes up all that empty space. Provides where the nice, OEM cluster would have where the, displayed. Where yeah, the cluster would have been. So it takes up all that space gives the dash somewhere to mount to and then mounts all of that into the dash in the car so everything's nice and sturdy, not moving around. Doesn't budge. Doesn't budge. Doesn't budge. And it looks clean. It's a clean finish. So It's one of the best finishes, I believe. Programmable. Prams. You Prams. don't have to Prams. say 14 programmable, just say it's a completely customizable dash solution. So the, then this is a rat's tail. <laughs> far. Awesome. Well, it is. It looks like a wet pail. <laughs> in my wet pail. Ask awesome. oh, Mickey. It's actually empty. I'm not gonna lie, I nearly think all our boxes. This one's a full. This one's empty. Of information. The old engine harness was just a like factory harness that had been adapted to run the old Platinum Sport Pro. Platinum Sport 2000. So yeah, Platinum, so whatever I figured out it was in the last video. That's Platinum, what it is. yeah. So if you like, want to look back on our socials and re watch it, George get our will, likes no. up, George get our views up. No, idiot. 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 Edit. He's idiot. not an idiot. <laughs> edit. He's our editor, not an idiot. <laughs> George will edit it in there. He's our, yeah. Whatever it was. So the factory harness had just been adapted to run that. So, uh, you know, having a 25, 30 year old car, you've got 25, 30 year old wires, like that much time of oil and grease and 
people, <laughs> people, you know, messing with it and tampering. Tampering is a good word. Being tampering. tampered with. Being uh, informant. When you want good insurance on your engine to know that all of the wires are doing exactly what they're meant to be and they're all in good condition, these are a really good option because you know that like everything in this loom is brand new, nobody's touched it, nothing's been cut and shut and spliced and soldered together and twisted and taped. So it's a perfect way to start a fresh a fresh round of mods. Fresh round of mods, yeah. Uh, especially if you're gonna go all out, not all out, but if you're gonna spend the money on the ECU. If you're spending the money on the ECU and you're using a factory harness that's been adapted and messed with over the years, you may as well not, essentially, because your ECU can only know what's going on through the wires that are bringing the I information to it. Brand noises. Grab that stock loom of yours, right? Hang on to it for me. Let me just do everything I want to do with it. I don't even know that. No, he doesn't. He wants that so that if he needs plugs <coughs> off of it, that's it. That's the only reason he wants that. Oh, I thought he was going to use no, it. No, he's just throwing it in the bin once he's done. I'm gonna scrap it and get copper money by the way. Anyway. This is only as good as this is. So th that's essentially, quintessentially what it is. Quintessentially. Quintessentially. One one cannot be one cannot operate at its full potential without the other. So if you've got a really, really nice loom and a crappy ECU, the loom can tell the ECU all you want, but it doesn't know what to do with it. In the same words, if you've got an ECU that can interpret lots and lots of things and you've got a wiring loom that just oh, it is quick question. Garbage. Quick question for the spotlight. For the viewers at home. Can you change, right? If say if I was over in another country, can I change my language on it? I don't know. Like, can it be <laughs> displayed as like foreign language on there? I don't even know that. That's the loom in the ECU, so that's going in Andy Square. The Haltech is pretty much the most innovation support and cutting edge technology you can probably find in an ECU. <laughs> Um, Where'd you read that? <laughs> Sounded good, don't it? <laughs> yeah. Here we have G Up's very fancy box. So if you can read along the top there. That was a quick zoom, George. Did you get it too? Yeah, nice. So Nexus R5. So G Up is running a Nexus R5. Uh, one of the main draw points of the Nexus, as Daniel's probably actually just got down here. Yes, I sure do, as brother. He's opened up his cheat sheet. The Nexus R5 is a completely uh, standalone ECU in the traditional sense, but also in the fact that it is a PDM as well. So it is capable of sending outputs. So pretty much as features on an Nexus. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. I'll oh, go ahead, right. The features, right, we've got drive-by throttle. We can do flex fuel, closed loop, O2 control, knock control, variable cam control, long-term learning. Learning, learning. Data logging, anti-lag, rotation idle, rolling anti-lag, launch control, traction control, which we do not want. Yeah. What? Do not want it yet. No, we don't want it. You don't want it during. Don't want it I don't control any traction during drifting. It would. No, it won't. Um, dun, dun, dun. The tuning table resolution up to 4D, right, of on laptop and on board for data logging. Nice. Engine protection, CAN networks, onboard wideband, IMU, and Wi Fi. So wherever you go, if you take Sam, he's had his COVID shot, right? So he gets Wi Fi wherever the Nexus R5 can go. Haltech blows my mind the more I read about it, George. Uh, Nexus is Haltech's best of the best. It's top of the range. If a Haltech can do it, then it's the Nexus, basically. You know, if, if, if there is a Haltech that's capable of doing it, it's the Nexus that can do it for you. So that coupled with its PDM capabilities mean that it is like a incredible option to go into a drift car, you know? Any car. Any car. Any car. I, as, as I read back here, George, it's actually suitable for drag, drift, race, dirt, snow, show, cruising, We've motorsport. Motorsport, we have you covered. You added snow in there. <laughs> that doesn't say snow anywhere. Though. It says show, but... Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it probably would hold up in snow. Go on and on about the differences between the ECUs, between the 2000 and the 2500 and the but Nexus and the 1500 and the 550. Basically, what, what Haltech's trying to get at is they've got you covered at any level that you want to play at. So if you want to play at the PDM, laser level height control... No one, no one. You can no, but push like button, it pad, you know, all of that. It. Then it's the Nexus. That's the one you go with. If you want to play out the little four-cylinder, I don't know, like little maybe like SR drift car like, with like, like, like God, maybe like 300 horsepower, then you can go God's with just the Elite mode. 550. Nah, if you really want to just be part of... They're very inclusive of everyone. Like, you know, Haltech's very inclusive of people who, like, maybe they're a little bit slow. <laughs> what are you talking about? And maybe... And they're also inclusive of people who are really fast. I don't like you, George. <laughs> yeah, you're the 
a slow one. Anyway, very accessible little port here, George, as you can see on the on the actual uh, issue down here. You just pop <laughs> off the little. Very easy to uh, access. Actually, you can do a little B-roll of like our bracketries we make up. We put these bad boys under your dash because. Yep. And plug them in, and then you can tune them. And... Blake's S13 is running an Elite 1500, so it's that like nice middle ground option where it's still got a lot of mid good range, features. Mid range. What did I say? Middle range. Middle. No, you said mid something. Mid range. It's mid range. It's that really not. It's that mid. It's. It's that mid range. That's what brother. I said. No, it's it's, it's the that, mid range. Stop playing with things. <laughs> There's something in that. Blake's S13, uh, 516 horsepower SR. It is running an Elite 1500, so it's a really nice mid range option which still has a lot of great features uh, and doesn't have a lot of features that he's never going to use. So it would be very silly for him to go for a Nexus because it's going to have those features and he's going to be paying for those features that he's never going to use. Whereas on the Elite 1500, it's got all the features he needs, none of the ones that he doesn't. Everything you need, nothing you don't. That's right. Right? That's right. So, yeah. so you don't have to worry about spilling any Red Bull on your SUs because they are waterproof. It's not so hard. No, that's done. It's not a bone. Yeah, it is. It's... What is wrong with you? That's not meant to make that. You get a USB, so when you go to school, you can put your... Um... Go, no, you got to get right on the bone. <laughs> Parched. <laughs> Parched. Yeah, so this is G-Up. Turn the key on. Oh, this is G out. This is the um, IS, IC, sorry, IC. IC, 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 the seven dashes we have in this car. So you turn it on, you get your little keypad module over here, you get power to it. You've got the Haltech display, it pops up there quite pretty. Yeah. Show you some of the things that we've got here. Top left, we've got nitrous pressure, coolant temp, oil temp. Down the bottom there, we've got oil pressure. On the right, we've got fuel level, <coughs> map sensor, which is boost. Battery voltage, and then I believe that is RPM. Speed. Yeah, RPM. Sorry, I couldn't see that. And it? yeah, speed. It's that might be RPM. Sorry. No, it's it's kilometers. In the center there, you can see the gear selector. So you got neutral there. If we go like this. It'll say first. How good? Very exciting. Now we go back to neutral. Uh, Boy, so look how many trip. Look how many cases done. Nineteen, nineteen. So that's the that's the IC7 dash, and you can see with the 3D printed around, it's a very clean install. Very pretty. Um, looks incredible. So this is the CAN pad, CAN keypad. So this is coupled with the Nexus ECU up under the dash here. Um, so we've got a few different functions on here. So we've got the power steering pump in the top left, so we press that. And if we listen carefully. You can hear the power steering pump. We run Astra power steering pump in GL. There it is. There it is. Here it wind up. So it winds up. Turn that bad boy back off. Hey, Michael. Uh, traction control, we don't have that set up yet. Nitrous heater, so we've got the bottle heater in the back there. We can turn that on. Nitrous purge, don't have that. Nitrous arm, so that's to arm the, arm the nitrous system on this. Fuel pumps are on all the time. Page up, don't need that. It's always up. It's always paged up. Uh, none of these really. Pit speed we have not on. So the mushroom button is to send it to kill mode, but it's always on kill mode, so that's a useless button. Useless? Useless. That's a useless button as well. Page down, that button's stuck. We ripped that one out. It, it's actually not, it doesn't exist. We can't page down, it's always it's always full tilt. Um, we would have a rotary those. dial in this car as well, like we did in Blake's, but it'd be completely pointless because it'd just stay pinned. So. Pinned. We'd so go it's pointless, past you don't 12. need the dial. We use this mushroom cloud over here. No, just... well, we don't even use that. It's but just... it's on, it's always on. No, it's not. I hate him, George. Well, stop lying. I See how it's not him. on? If it was always on, it'd be on. <laughs> well, stop saying things that aren't true. It's because... a liar. You bloody dick. Okay, so it's wrong You've anyway. annoyed me now. Good. Good. You always annoy me. Good. I hope you die in your sleep. You sleep with me. <laughs> Don't. No. It's already. Stop. Right. The Haltex is such a small compact design as you can see. These ECUs are actually so good that they'll run anything. We're actually using one to run Daniel's welder. Yeah. I can do AC, DC, MC, TIG, MIG, even plasma. Leg. I am a dirty. Dirty Ooh, little dog. Dirty dog. No, it's to switch between. Sorry. What? Nothing. Are you doing stuff? No. I was, I was looking to you for in in, in uh, yeah information. I'm powerless. So the Haltech rotary <laughs> dial down. The Haltech the Haltech rotary dial down here. Uh, its purpose in this car is to switch between power levels. So you've got we've got three different power level settings. So we've got a four four hundred horsepower. Uh, 480 high 400s and then 516 
uh, which is its max power level. So at the moment, Blake's obviously running that on three, which is his max power level. Um, the beauty of this little dial is it can be mapped to do multiple different functions. So it can control boost settings, uh, nitrous settings. The possibilities are somewhat endless with it. Um, so it's not just a one-trick pony. Uh, it doesn't just spin around, you know, it does other things. It doesn't just... Yes, it know. does. That's, it actually just goes Well, that's around. exactly what it does. But <laughs> those... It can do lots of different features as yeah. it goes around. Yeah, so yeah. it's completely mappable. It can, it's it, can, plane. it can do more than just change your power level, so... Um, you can map... You can map almost... Thank you. You can map almost any function. You'll so you, if you want to do your level right height... Probably max no, your that's pump. not what that does. Oh. That's that's absolutely not okay. what that does. What you Don't think the level ride right height is is not what you think it is, bro. It's got nothing to do with that. How would you know? Apps. Because have you have never it's said it's easy you dumb. Yeah. Hold down here. Ah! What am I? Junior, let's go. Stop hurting me, Mickey. <laughs> Ow! 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 Yeah, yo. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Stop hurting me! <laughs> Sorry. So, what are, you, Marley? what are we going to say? Sorry. So, if you, if you like the look of this nice little green car here, consider subscribing because there's a full build video coming on it soon. Uh, if you like SRs, subscribe. If you don't like SRs, subscribe. If you... SRs, what's up? If you really enjoyed this video, drop a comment down below saying, I really enjoyed this video. If you didn't enjoy this video, drop a comment down below saying, I really enjoyed this video. Right there. Oh, bro! <laughs> <laughs>